Good afternoon to all brothers and friends who listen to us for the different media. Today, we have such an exciting topic as the rapture of the church that we see here hidden in Daniel chapter 12 verse 11. Today, you must decide if you stay with the private interpretation that we have always heard, even that I have believed at some time, or the biblical revelation and understanding the Lord is giving us today to those who have to accept it. Verse 9 has no type of discussion because, by itself, he affirms that it is for the last days for the time of the end. Therefore, the end cannot be in year 90 or another era, but the apostles asked for the end, and Jesus Christ in Matthew 24. Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? In Greek, it also appears that the end goes together with his coming. Therefore, it is an event that the disciples were very clear about this. It is also explained in other videos. Please watch the biblical interpretation of Daniel 9 verse 27. You will be pretty lost because of all the preconceptions you have about Daniel 9 verse 27 and Daniel 12 verse 11. It is very different from biblical interpretation. We know by biblical interpretation plus the word of the Lord this is the truth, and that this revelation is hidden, and if it happens at the end of the days, then there won't be any temple or animal sacrifices. This is option A. And option B is you can see that in the Bible, the apostles Peter and Paul say that sacrifice and offerings are the actions of the believers, the works of the saints, and the continuous sacrifice. I want to clarify that Brother Christian did not receive the revelation of the Holy Spirit as the other Messiah in the scriptures. Still, you can see two different sacrifices, which we know is the other comforter on this earth since Pentecost 2000 years ago. Let's continue with what he is saying. We have two sacrifices. One is the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, which was done once and for all, says the Bible, but this sacrifice is a continuous sacrifice very different from the sacrifice of Christ, which was once and for all. This is a daily sacrifice, and I will not go into interpretation issues because they are already in other videos. I want to tell you that before our eyes, we have the moment of the church's rapture in verse 11 of Daniel. So, those 1,290 days that appear there we read in verse 12 are inside the 1,335 days. This means that once the church of the promise is removed, it will not be the whole worldwide church. Listen to this, only those who are part of Philadelphia and everyone who overcomes that belong to the other church described in the book of Revelation. So there is the part that you will not have to go to the end. But here we see that says blessed is he who reaches. Why? because they stayed on earth 1,335 days, which is precisely the study more impressive than the Lord has revealed. I am not talking about myself. I am only a spokesperson. I do not charge. I neither earn money nor do they pay me anything. I'm not even monetizing the videos on YouTube to give you an idea. I give everything by grace I received. By grace I give it, right? So I don't want to expose myself either. Those who know me know that I am a person who would never do this if it is not because of the impulse of our Lord Jesus Christ. With that being said, I mean, obviously the 1,335 days are going to pass to see Christ, and they passed by here, and no, they did not die, right? The Lord in Zechariah 14 says that survivors of the nations will have to go up to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. That day will be remembered yearly because the Feast of Tabernacles brought us out. So, see the incredible study and revelation of the rapture on September 18th in this same channel to understand it in detail. There are several videos about this because some details are not in this study. Watch all the videos because each has details of new information or disclosures regarding the study. So, if you add all the information, you are going to have a clear understanding. You can take it or discard it. Many have asked me what is the difference with other people who suddenly say the end of the world was in the year 2000. But clearly, there is a big difference in what I announce first because I'm not saying Jesus is coming soon. I'm saying because to say Jesus is coming soon I better keep my mouth shut because they are going to ask me when it is soon? Then, the word soon could bring doubt. So I say September 18th. Why? We have the biblical date with more than 10 biblical points that support what I am saying. Has anyone announced a date? That is under the correct interpretation, with a timeline of numbers and exact mathematics. I go to name only at the end, the exact mathematics that the Lord says this generation won't pass. As it is nailed on the 14th of May, 2028. 
and since the continuous sacrifice of September 18th is removed, until May 14th, 2028, there are 1,335 days. Those are two key points, mathematical and exact, of the other eight points. So yes, this is a mere coincidence to you. Is the Lord not warning? Now we have indications and proof that he warned Noah and Lot. He warned Noah seven days before the destruction came. Noah waited for the destruction, and the Lord told him to get out of the land because I would destroy it and get out of the city. Then why to his beloved bride? He will not tell her beforehand. Of course he will. Unfortunately, the post-tribulation has done impressive damage and has taken away the faith of so many believers. That is precisely what the enemy's job is, to take away the faith of those who believe in the rapture. I know people who previously believed in the rapture, and now they no longer believe it is impressive how the enemy acts, and they think they are right. The worst of the case is that they believe there are still things to do here on earth, that there are still works or things while people are dying and children are gunned down there in the Middle East. That's what happens to you for being selfish and only seeing for yourself. Nothing more, but if you look at what is happening at the global level, how can it be that there are people? Don't cry out for the Lord to intervene and stop all this. We opened a prayer group to cry out just this. And thank God. Then the Lord began to reveal that He is coming, with a date and also revealed in His Word. Before we knew it, we started clamoring for what is happening in this world. This is the result of constant prayer. And now we have the final result and the answer to our prayers, the prize that God has given us in power, and spread it this way with clarity. If other people want to stay with the day and the hour, nobody knows, no, there is no problem. It stays with the average phrase that Jesus Christ spoke about and what Matthew wrote only a half sentence, then I come back and insist today this study is supported by the word and by the visions that it is what I want to emphasize in this I study, visions of brethren of all parts of the world that write to me after uploading these videos. They share with me what the Lord showed them. Some get the date, others say it's in September, others say they received the revelation of September 18th, others tell me that they received it on September 17th, others tell me that they received the revelation of the year 2024 or the revelation on the full moon on September, but I've already lost count, so many people, I can't respond to so many people who write, then today clearly the Lord is announcing. What is the difference between others and us? We have the Bible that supports the visions and visions that support the Bible. So, we have something very different from what no one has before. That is why I can't remain a false prophet. Seriously, I am impressed by people's ignorance when they say you will remain a false prophet on the 19th. I am showing you the Bible. Study first what a false prophet is. A false prophet is a person who says December 28th, and it is not fulfilled. So, December 29th becomes a false prophet and a false teacher. I'm here saying a date, which I will start naming less out of love for others so that they watch the video until the end and do not rush to tell the day, and nobody knows the time. Also, all this is explained in the previous videos, but clearly, it is a difference we have yet to see. Christians write books, and the Lord has also told one of them that before the rapture, the Lord would warn the church, and that is what it is fulfilling that as an extra-biblical revelation, we can say. Still, it is impossible that everybody is lying, nor is the revealed in the Bible the most remarkable coincidence of the history that had, and to be had that the date of September 18th is a casual date. So the problem I think that the people who are waiting for the 19th to come shoot stones here, they may get into big trouble. I recommend that you calm your heart and repent because the Lord is warning you. That mood is not even from now on, being Christian or after. For example, right now, a person with that spirit is evident. The other day, he was also talking to a person who hadn't spoken to me for years and who appeared out of nowhere to insult me. What is the spirit he has? God's spirit? Not really, that is not from God, brother. That's because their lives are terrible, and they have to fix their lives first and then point to another believer, right? You can see it in how they react. So, by the way, I will never stay as a false prophet because I am not a prophet. I am doing what the Lord is telling me to do. With the word revealed, if you want to take it, take it. If you want to throw it away, discarded is not here obliged to believe this. I don't know why some people have to believe and others don't. I am grateful to the Lord because brothers and sisters have joined me now in tremendous faith, which shows me that I am not alone. And this is precisely what further confirms that the Lord is warning. You have to be Noah at this time. 
You must be brave. This is not for conservative or shy people. You can do it too, brother. I am not saying that others who have other positions will remain. If you are a person who keeps his word, of the Lord, has a correct life, and keeps everything that the Lord commands you, you will be part of the rapture. I do not doubt that. The issue is when you are entering and saying that Jesus Christ is not God, this is something very different, and still rise against people who believe in the rapture, there you can find yourself in a serious problem, which is precisely what God wants to show you that in the great tribulation, some will be saved because the rapture it has nothing to do with salvation. Brother, it's not that that day I am saved. No, we are already saved. What happens is that some people are saved, but they have to be tested, which is why they will go through the great tribulation. That's what we see in the different churches, and we also see it. We speak in everyday life with different people. Those who will arrive alive at the end of the great tribulation have a very different biblical scenario than those who go in the rapture, where they eat and drink, get married, and give in marriage on regular days. And the setting beyond the sixth and seventh seals is very different. There is a massacre, there is destruction, and there is even the mark of the beast, the 42-month government of the Antichrist. I do not know how they don't see that so clearly. Read Matthew 24. The church does not go through Matthew 24. I will do this study on another day. Matthew 24 is entirely Jewish. The only thing that the church experiences is the rapture of the promise. These are the signs that were given to the Jews, nothing more. Still, when the killing begins, that is the anguish of Jacob, my brother, mistakes, blunders of interpretation and translation that exist in the word of the Lord. Matthew is for Jacob, and then the persecution of the church worldwide. Imagine Revelation 12. Therefore, now we have to see all these sacrifices and offerings in Daniel 9 verse 27, how the interpretation changes, and how the Lord is telling us the moment of the rapture on September 18th and why we arrived at that number. See the videos of all dates fall on the 18th the only year is this 20, 24, also in the mathematically accurate story. If on September 19th you are here on earth, or we are all and follow an everyday world, it is because the parable of the Lord had nothing to do with the founding of Israel and the generation of 80 years. But that's not going to happen because from now until September 18th, we will have many more signs, visions, and situations for the glory and honor of the Lord. After all, He does not. He wants no one to get lost. He always insists that we should preach this word of the end. It's over, my brothers. Don't look for yourself. Don't look because of you. He's doing well at work from now on. Six months, this is over. There is no more time to be here on earth. This is the church's rapture. And remember the rapture. It will happen in regular times, normal days in quotes. Do not be scared by what the prophets say. Now, some of you are saying that it comes like a terror over people, and they are saying that it is coming after September 18th, not before. We can see an advance in thinking this could be possible, but the rapture comes on normal days. Remember, at that time, there will be days when people eat and sell. We are still in that time. Everything points to what will happen and go through a catastrophe, and then there will be a new order, a new world order. Why? Before there is a catastrophe, why is it a catastrophe? There will be thousands who were announcing the rapture before it happened and left the earth. I want to add to this part of the study that Brother Michael's New Jerusalem ministry has videos discussing what will happen when the Holy Spirit leaves this earth. It will be chaos everywhere, wars, natural disasters, and earthquakes because the ministry of the Holy Spirit is to stop all evil. Now, we are seeing much evil in this world. It is because the Holy Spirit is gradually withdrawing from this earth. Let's continue with what Brother Christian is saying. Because I will keep you from the time of test that it comes to all earth, I will keep you out, says the original in Greek. Psalm 27 verse 5 says God is going to keep us in his tabernacle, and we will rejoice. Psalms 20, Isaiah, etc. This is in the Old Testament. He will save us when he comes with his anger, and the indignation of the Lord starts on September 18th. Therefore, encourage each other with this word. When you still see the word of the Lord and realize it's getting closer, we'll be watching and praying. And we will have the possibility, like the virgins, of knowing the exact moment Jesus Christ comes for us. I want to add an experience that happened to me the other day. A person asked if we could sin until the 18th and laughed, and everyone would be saved. Do you think that a Christian, knowing the date, 
will sin or go into the world to come back on the 18th or 17th? Do you believe that God can be mocked if you are so unaware that you stay here? There is no possibility if you think such a thing in your heart. The Bible says that it will come that day upon you, even knowing the date. God cannot be mocked. We are at some levels of Christianity away from the Word of God, which is incredible. People who say I am the son of a missionary, of a pastor, it means that you are the son of a missionary, but you have to be a son of God. First, you have to be for God. The titles here are for the children of God. The main thing here is not to be the son of such a missionary. The Lord will not take you because you are the son of such a person. Don't make mistakes. Your works are yours. Judgment is yours. And the one who points to you is Christ. You can't point to another person and much more tell him how his behavior is in his path and his life because he speaks what the Father commands. So when someone rises up against God's will, you have to rebuke so that that person can come to the knowledge of the truth because you will meet people used by the enemy. The enemy rises, brother. The enemy immediately gets up and takes those who are not on the right path because he wants to see you in hell. He wants you to be seen in the lake of fire. He doesn't want you to know the day of the rapture. He wants you to avoid coming closer and understanding what the Lord is speaking to his children. The mercy of the Lord is enormous. Jeremiah 2 verse 33 says, I will make you know hidden things. But when you talk about this date, they get scared. So where are the hidden things? Jesus said, everything I have made known to you, everything. Jesus also said, everything that you ask the Father in my name, that I will also do it for the glory of the Father. Or there it says, except the day of rapture of the church, except the day, because the Father knows it. But the issue is that the Father does nothing without telling it first to his servants. So, brothers, I am not going to expand this much further. I want this study that you can see more than anything in the other videos where a date is indicated. Let's go to call out of love to the unbelievers a date without discrediting anyone because a person who is proud and arrogant is not doing this type of study is clear, right? So, I better say incredulous because the Bible calls him something worse. I say that in disbelief. So for the love of them, we are going to put a date read. So that they can see the studies they can do, see what the Lord is doing, and not stop spreading and giving it a like. I don't charge or receive money for this. Nor does YouTube pay me anything. From grace, I receive, and I give. So brothers, believe me, and believe the word of the Lord that there is a biblical rapture date. And it will be on the 18th of September 20, 24 will happen on the most anticipated event by the church. When I also say 17 in this same audio, it is because of a country time difference. What is going to happen on the 18th? Probably in Israel. Therefore rejoice heavens and those who dwell in them that there we will be seeing the things above for the glory and honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings and see you in the following study.